Hello everyone, my name is Jasmine McCoy and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, thank you for clicking in to drop by, but if you're a returner, it is always nice to have you back. This video, I'm going to be talking about something very important that I went to last month called Second Look. And what is Second Look? I'm very happy that you asked. It is a time when all the medical schools that you have been accepted to they extend an offer saying, hey, would you like a second look at our medical school? And if you cannot tell, I went for Feinberg School of Medicine. Also, you've probably already seen the video that I released a little bit earlier talking about all of the medical schools that I got into and the ultimate decision that I did make to go to Feinberg School of Medicine. So this is a time where the schools say, hey, come get a second look. Why is it called that? Well, typically in a normal year without the pandemic, you would have already seen the campus. You most likely would have gone on a tour there. You definitely would have gone to your interview in person at the school. I'm so thankful we did not have to do that. That would have been even more money on top of the application. So typically this is your second look of the medical school. But because for, I mean, for my cohort, we did not get to do that in person viewing of the medical school. So our second look is actually our first look, at least it was for me. And I'm not sure why they didn't rename it, but I mean, I guess they are keeping with their traditions. So I went to second look, I had an amazing time and it was like on a random Thursday, I took my flight from Cleveland to Chicago. And yeah, I had an amazing time starting off with getting from the airport to the actual city of Chicago. I was looking at that Uber and I thought, eh, not today. Let's try, you know, the public transportation. It's just $5. I can do this. So I got onto the subway. I even have my little Ventura card. This is the subway card of the first ride that I ever took going from the airport into the city of Chicago. So this is going to be a very nice keepsake for me to have because this is where it all started. And yeah, so when I got into the city, I had many hours to kill. And here's a little bit of video from that exploration now. I have been to Chicago two or three times before for AKA events. So when that happens, I'm typically just up in the hotel, up in the convention center. But there was one time that me and the girls of the undergraduate activities committee were able to go to a shopping center, if I remember correctly. So now I am free to do whatever I want for the next two hours. I'm gonna do a little bit of sightseeing, starting with the river walk, which we're already there. And over here is where they have all of these different walkways. People are running, jogging, walking. I have my luggage with me, so I don't wanna go there, but I've seen it. And I will be walking alongside it because I don't want to be in that lane with my luggage. I feel like that's the wrong place to be. So we're going to start walking to Navy Pier. I think that that would be a good place to go to. This here is gonna be a better view of the river walk and what's usually done on it. Look at the puppy puppy taking a walk so you've got this and all along it there's little sitting areas for people who are I guess having breakfast taking a little break in between work doing yoga whatever it might be and it comes right up to the river very cool I think that this is a nice community thing that they've incorporated into the city to make it more livable. Looking out to the other side of the river, I can see that there's a yacht sail. Looking over to the other side of the river, I can see that there's some sort of yacht selling business. 
as well as rentals for boats that go up and down Chicago River. Ooh, the sun is coming out today, but it's a bit too early for the boats to be out, so they're all still covered. If I had more time, that would be a fun thing to do, but I don't. So we'll just save that for another time. Okay, the Matrix jacket had to come off because it's getting a little hot, but over there in that corner, there is a Ghirardelli ice cream and chocolate store. I would love to go there, that would be great, but um, the first event is brunch. I don't want to ruin brunch with a ice cream and chocolate sundae. And this bridge that I just crossed, this is the same exact bridge that I would cross the other times that I was here for different AKA events. So walking across, I'm like, oh, okay, this looks familiar, this looks familiar. So over there, somewhere down that street is the East Wacker Drive Hilton that we would always have the events in our hotel. So, okay, things are starting to look more familiar on the way to Navy Pier. It is not open yet. It opens at 11 a.m., but the walkway surrounding the pier is open 24 seven. And there's people, you can't see them right now because I'd let them pass by me so I could film. But there's people walking, running in the area around Navy Pier. And Navy Pier is just an area, it is a pretty, pretty long pier. So I'll give you all a view of what it is I see. But it's got food, it's got shopping and retail. It also has entertainment. So I'm gonna show you right now what I'm looking at. Not only is there the Centennial Wheel that everyone knows about, everyone it like is right there, it's a part of the skyline, but there's also, it seems to be some sort of up downy free fall type of ride that people can get on as well. And then that over there is where all of the retail happens. And then I guess farther down there, there's more parking as well as the restaurants they've got. As you can see, it extends really far out. But that's all I'm going to do. I think now it's time to head over to the location of the first event for Second Look. I guess I've made it onto the campus. A decade at the top, number one in Illinois, 11 straight years. Best Hospitals, US News Honor Roll 2022 to 2023. Okay, also there's a lot of purple and white now just all over. I'm getting closer to my destination. The first event that we had on the agenda was the ODI brunch and ODI stands for the Office of Diversity and Inclusion which for most other medical schools companies whatever it is that you are looking at they use the acronym DEI diversity equity and inclusion but they use ODI. So this was essentially the multicultural brunch, and I had a great time there. I went, you dropped your stuff off in a little side room, and I was early, but I mean, I did get there at like 8 a.m. and the event didn't start until noon. So I got there early. I got to sit next to Dean Kundu and did not know that she was as big of a deal as like I know that she is now, but it feels very humbling to know that those kind of people show up to events with people who haven't even said that they are going to the school yet. They will take out their precious time to make sure that they are visible and that they're interacting with potential students of the medical school. Very fun. And we end up having obviously brunch, but also a Q&A with some of the medical students, which was very, very insightful. So here are some video from the ODI brunch now. <laughs> Once that was finished, we walked through some of the buildings to get to our next location for the, uh, the ODI Diversity in Medicine Symposium. 
And for that, I did receive our little care package. So it says Northwestern Medicine, Feinberg School of Medicine. And inside we had a bunch of little goodies. So, yes, we had tissue. We had my lanyard. Look at that. It says my name. It says Harvard, she, her, hers. And on the back is where it had all of the information for where it is that I should meet, what location I'm going to be in, what table I'm going to sit at. So that's what I had on the back. And then it also had my shirt size for the shirt that I'm wearing now. We also had some shades, notepad, and then we also had hand sanitizer. And it does say Northwestern Medicine, Feinberg School of Medicine on the side. And then inside we had this folder. The folder has so much information on it. So I had information about the agenda for the weekend, as well as information for things like what I'm looking at right now, the Robert J. Havey MD School of Global Health. So this, when we got into a gigantic lecture hall, that was where we had all of the affinity groups come and talk to us. We also had, as I said, presentations from the Institute of Global Health talking about all of the different ways that you can study abroad. I would love to be able to study abroad either in one of the Spanish-speaking um, locations, either in uh, Central or South America or in Spain, or uh, I don't have to use my Spanish knowledge at all, I could go to Ireland because in Ireland they don't have a language requirement, it's just English. I speak English. So I'm very excited about that, I had an amazing time, and afterwards we were going to like literally just outside to the atrium and that is where we had the dean's reception the dean's reception was essentially just food mixing and mingling so here's a little bit of video from those things now Education, Marianne Green. We are thankful for that hosting this reception for us today. And I'm really excited to see all of you here. We've talked about you being M0s. I guess you're like an updated version of 0 0.5. I don't know, you're on your way to becoming M1s. And we're embarking on an incredible journey with you today, sharing with you the Feinberg mission, the vision our integrated educational curriculum, which you'll hear a lot more about tomorrow. But 
we don't have the interview, right, moving over us. You might be sharing some fun facts, I hope, but um, now you're looking at our school from a whole new lens. Seeing the community that we have built here, the curriculum that we'll be exposed to, thinking about how you're going to contribute to medicine in a really meaningful way. Not only being that exceptional clinician, but a future leader in medicine. And you will have every single resource here at your disposal surrounding you to make that dream come true. So enjoy. I challenge you to talk to like five new people. It should be relatively easy to do in this room um, today. But thank you so much for spending time with us. Short and sweet. Take all the stations in. There's five different stations. Cheers to all of you. Thank you again to Dean Nielsen and Dean Green. Welcome. Welcome to Once all of the official things were done, it was time to just relax. And for that, I took all of my, I took all of my suitcase and junk that I had been carrying literally the entire day, not on me, but having to transport between all of the different locations. So I took that and I walked over to my host's, uh, not hotel, cause I was gonna say host hotel, but my host's apartment. My host was a fourth year medical student now a full graduate because they did have the graduation for their fourth year medical students and they are now just out there doing the thing being real full doctors so she was one of the people who said hey i have some space i would love to host one of the potential students that could be coming to feinberg school of medicine and I walked over there, dropped my stuff off, we talked. She gave me a lot of insight and especially having a fourth year medical student there to answer all of my questions about her experience and her interaction with the school. That was beautiful. After that, there was a little um, black students mixer. So I went to that and then I went to sleep because it had been a long day. And then we had to wake up for the next thing on Friday. On Friday, that was when we had our day of exploration for the curriculum of FSM, Feinberg School of Medicine. So they took us on, first and foremost, a campus tour. So finally, I'm able to walk around all of the places that I have seen in like, because when it comes to trying to look at schools during COVID, all of the medical schools, undergraduate institutions, whatever they might be, Pretty much all of them had virtual tour videos that are one, two, or three years old because of the pandemic. But now I'm actually able to walk through those halls. And it was a good feeling being able to have that finally and just get that feeling of, okay, okay, I can see myself living here. I can see myself learning and just developing into Dr. McCoy here. So. We had the campus tours. We also went into the um, the simulation lab. That was cool. That was very, very cool. We also got to see the, um, the not the autopsy room. What am I trying to say? The cadaver lab. So we got to see that. And we did spend some time when we were talking about the curriculum of Feinberg S School of Medicine. We went to the gigantic room that we will be using for most of our small question-based learning type of events. And they put us in those little groups that I mentioned earlier. They had us go through a, <laughs> they had us go through something where they said, we need some volunteers. I raised my hand. I didn't know what I was raising my hand for, but I was raising my hand to come up with four other people to gather a history on a patient that was presenting to the hospital with shortness of breath after um, after exercising for a rugby tournament. So we had to ask the patient questions about um, what was the problem? When did it start? Do you have any history of asthma, smoking, drug abuse? Have you had COVID before? So these are the kinds of questions that we're asking to build our little pieces of knowledge about the patient. And then they also had us in our little groups talking about what we think that the person has. Most of the people ended up saying, we think the patient has long COVID. 
and we put those answers into a word cloud. So long COVID was the largest one, but the answer actually ended up being a pulmonary embolism. Not gonna talk about all the reasoning and like how we got to that. And then they also took x-rays and they had us click on what we think is the abnormality of the x-ray. It was very cool. It was so much fun. So I'm gonna have a great time in medical school. I already know it. But here's some video from day from Friday now. Good morning, we are off to the start of a new day and I just left my host's apartment complex. New outfit, wearing some green, and I am getting ready to head off to our next day of events for the Weinberg School of Medicine uh, next day of our second book. And I just want to show you all how close the water actually is because Literally across that highway, you have Lake Michigan. All of it is out there. And then when I look over, I'll show you all in a second, but when I look over to the right, I can see, I can literally see maybe Pier where I was walking around yesterday. So being able to have this lakefront access is pretty nice when considering a medical school. So. I'm getting ready to head over back to the campus and we'll get into the next day of events. You see that little strip of blue? That's the lake. You turn to the right, there's the Centennial Wheel. So there is the Navy Pier, all of that. And even from all the way over here, you can see how large Navy Pier is. I also found out from talking to a bunch of the um, M1s and M2s that at the very end of Navy Pier is where they have graduation. So that's pretty cool. This is something that I completely failed to notice last night. I didn't realize that I walked past the Museum of Contemporary Art. And you can see some examples of their contemporary art up there. So this is on the left side of a little walkway that I used yesterday to get to my host apartment complex. On the other side, you've got this nice outdoor physical activity area. So the sun is, the sun is shining very bright today, but you can see that they've got tennis playing. There's also a little three lane track that people are running on and then a gigantic field could probably host like a football soccer game over there and then there's also a bunch of dogs out there but this is pretty nice give them a big thanks and props. So before we get started, let's give them a, a clap. About them in a second, so hopefully they'll make their, their way in. Um, but today, this morning, for the first hour or so, we're going to talk about what makes Feinberg different. It's a very common question we hear, and we want to share with you who we are and how we help you launch into your pathway to personal and professional growth. We'll then move into more an active engagement with active integrated simulated learning. We have a lot of fun. It'll, it's going to be really fun. You'll see. I, I won't even um, kind of un reveal anything for you. And we'll have lunch, which will connect. I remember this Zoom call, but like people would study here. Down the hall, there were overwhelming lives. I can walk you by. There's also like office uh, diversity and inclusion, which they look like snacks. And there's also probably the office people who meet out here. Um, 
Amazon is also offering selling like chicken which is right around the corner. They currently have fruit. I did not know that. Back in my day they said real like more food because of the beauties coming through. But you know, I just feel like I'm supposed to know. Um but this is also a nice area to study at and And after that, it was time for me to head home. I honestly wish that I had stayed because my flight ended up getting delayed until Saturday, but I didn't know that until I was already at the airport. So had I not been at the airport for my flight at like 9 p.m. on Friday, I would have been able to go to another mixer that they were having. This was the Dean's mixer and it was being held at um, Pinstripe. Pinstripe is one of those big attractions of Chicago. It is a place for people to go bowling, to listen to good music, eat, and then I believe it also has arcade games there. So unfortunately I did miss that, but it is something that I will be able to save for when I actually move to Chicago to start at Feinberg School of Medicine as a medical student. So I had an amazing time at my second look and they definitely won me over to picking them for like committing in my medical school education. And yeah, you all can definitely expect more of Feinberg. It is where I'm going to be spending the next four years of my life. And if you have any suggestions of things that I should do in Chicago, places that I should visit, restaurants that I should eat, activities, festivals that I can't afford to mix, please let me know. You can put that in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye!